Get all the best Team of the Seasons, International Man of the Matches, and upcoming footies through ufifa.com. Use the code TVM at checkout to get yourself a huge discount. Link in the description. Go check them out. What is going on, guys? TVM here. Welcome to the International Man of the Match Team of the Tournament. We have Blashikovsky, first player. He has come right down in price since I've actually bought him. 65,500 coins he cost me. However, he's down to about 25, 30k now. So I've lost a lot of money on him. But is he worth it? That's the main point of this whole video, of course. 85 acceleration with 84 sprint speed. Not too bad at all. 85 adjust. I say not too bad. That's bollocks. Sorry. I need to cut. They've butchered his pace. There's no way he's that slow. Remember when he used to be like 93? Anyway, let's go back. 85 agility, 83 balance, 85 reactions with ball control on 86 dribbling, 80 shot power, 80 position, 84 volleys, 84. Four short passing, 82 curve and 85 crossing with 83 vision. Doesn't have the best stamina at 78. It's not the worst, but it's not the best considering he is a winger and he will be running up and down that uh, right-hand side an awful lot. His finishing is very poor with 71 along with his 72 long shots. So I tried to stay away from shooting in general, really. I tried to sort of lay it off here or there where possible. He got himself uh, four goals in five games for me, though. I was quite uh, surprised by his goal-scoring ability, considering the fact that his finishing is dreadful. Uh, his ability to run through play is very nice indeed. Four-star weak foot helps him put through those type of finishes right there. But where he really excels for me is gliding through players. I didn't think he'd have the ability to do it, but... His ability to just sort of weave his way in and out through players and then get that cross off. The cross is the icing on the cake. The cherry, if you will. Because his crossing at 85 is very, very overpowered. It feels a lot better than what it actually is on the tin. Look at that for weaving in and out of the, uh, the defence there and putting the ball in the back of the net. And I'm going to show you a little replay there. All the defenders flying in around him trying to get the challenge away. But his footwork is just too quick. The things that let me down about the card really is the lack of pace. Blashikovsky, in my opinion, is known for pace. Obviously, he's lost it in the last season and a half or something uh, as far as FIFA is concerned. And that really does frustrate me because I did that um, Hazard video earlier today. And I was going through all the uh, the old players in FIFA. And Blashikovsky has got like 90 plus pace throughout the pretty much the entire back catalogue of FIFA. But he's lost it, unfortunately. And to be honest, there's not really an awful lot wrong with the card apart from that. It's just his pace that's let me down about him, to be fair. Everything else is great. I mean, the finishing has been is poor, but I think it's probably been poor throughout his entire uh, history in FIFA. His long shot's the same as well. So the only thing that does frustrate me is the pace. Very, very unfortunate there. But um, still a very nicely well-rounded card, to be fair. If you're on a bit of a budget, this guy's obviously down to about 25-30k already. And he's only been out a few hours. So chances are he'll probably come down to more or less discard value, I would have thought, in the next few hours or days. Uh, we've got... Uh, expectation was a 7 going into things. I, I kind of looked at it and I thought to myself, Do you know what, 84 pace, uh, not really looking forward to it necessarily. But I did actually enjoy myself. 8 out of 10. Would definitely use him again, to be fair. He's a, a nice alternative to using someone like Bellarabi or Robin. Obviously, if you've got money and you play in the Bundesliga or you build a Bundesliga side, you use Robin. If you don't have money, you use Bellarabi or Sydney Sam or something along those lines. So it's nice to have a nice alternative in Blaszczykowski. Consistency, 9 out of 10. Plays more or less exactly the same in every game. We've already gone over the value for money. Definitely 10 out of 10 there. 30k for this guy is incredible. Overall, though, I'm going to give him a 7.5. He was solid, but he wasn't. he's not going to set the world alight. He's a good player, but the three-star skills let me down. The pace let me down, and I just... He, there are other options out there that you would probably want to go for over Blaszczykowski. Decent card, but I probably won't really be keeping him, if I'm honest. So, there you go. If you've enjoyed this review, you know what to do. Smack that like button, subscribe to the channel if you have done so. I'll be back again tomorrow with a whole host of player reviews. And until then, goodbye. Thank you.